بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹ آئی ہوپ آل آف یو آر فائن اینڈ ڈوئنگ ویل اسٹارٹ کرتے ہیں اچھی بات سے اور آج کے لیے آپ لوگوں کے ساتھ شیئر کرنا چاہوں گی قرآن پاک کی ایک آئے جس کا ترجمہ کچھ اس طرح سے ہے بامراد ہوا جو شخص قرآن سن کر برے عقائد و اخلاق سے پاک ہو گیا اور اپنے رب کا نام لیتا ہے اور نماز پڑھتا ہے پیارے بچوں ہمیں کوشش کرنی چاہیے کہ ہم قرآن پاک کی تلاوت کریں اور اس کو سمجھنے کی کوشش کریں اور اس کے علاوہ اللہ تعالیٰ کا ذکر کریں اور نماز پڑھتے رہیں In the today's video, we are going to solve the assignment 2.2 of the unit 2, that is vectors and equilibrium. Assignment 2.2 is a force F1 equals to 20 Newton, making an angle theta 1, 30 degree with positive x axis, and force F2, 30 Newton, making an angle of theta 2 equals to 150 degree with positive x axis. x at a point calculate the resultant force now dear students the two forces are given the first force is f1 with the magnitude of 20 newton and its direction is 30 degree along the positive x axis while the second force is f2 with the magnitude of 30 newton and its direction is equal to 150 degree with the positive x axis and we have to find out the resultant force so now dear students as you know that we have the two methods to solve this question either we can solve this by the head to tail rule which is the geometrical method but but since the geometrical method is not that much accurate as compared to the mathematical equations so we will solve this question by the addition of the rectangular components of the vectors so let us first draw the arbitrary diagram for this question so we will draw the coordinate axis x and y axis with the reference to which we will draw the given two forces f1 and f2 so first of all the first force f1 it has the magnitude of 20 newton and it acts along the 30 degree with the x axis so starting from the origin we will draw the first force f1 with the direction of 30 degree with the positive x axis now the second force f2 will be starting from the head of the first vector which is the f1 but now its direction is 150 degree so if you draw the axis in total there are 180 degrees along the straight line so the force f2 will act in the direction of 150 degrees and its magnitude is 30 newton So this is the vector force F2 making an angle of 150 degree with the positive x axis. And now we have to find out its resultant. And to find out the resultant, we have to join the tail of the first vector with the head of the last vector. So this will be the resultant force F which we have to find out. And to find out this resultant force with the help of the equation first of all with the help of the rectangular components this resultant force can be written as this will be equal to f r x the x component of the resultant forces plus f r of y 
the vertical component forces or in terms of the direction we can write down this resultant rectangular component as f r x into the unit vector i plus f r y into the unit vector j and in all in terms of the magnitude this force could be written as the square root of f r x square plus f r y square so now the main thing is to find out the f r x and f r y to find out the magnitude of the resultant force and we can calculate the direction by using the tangent ratio so the theta will be equal to tangent inverse f r y divided by f r x so the very first step is to find out the horizontal component and the vertical component of the given vectors f1 and f2 so first of all for f1 f1x will be equal to f1 cos theta 1 and by substituting the values into this equation f1 is 20 and the angle is 30 degree so 20 cos of 30 is equal to 17.32 newton and similarly f1y will be equals to f1 sine theta 1 while f1 is 20 and sine of theta 1 which is 30 degree so 20 sine of 30 is equal to 10 newton so these are x and y components of the vector f1 now for the vector f2 we will calculate f2x equals to f2 cos theta 2 while f2 is equal to 30 newton and cos of 150 degree so 30 cos of 150 is equal to minus 25.98 newton while f2y will be equals to f2 sine of theta 2 while f2 is 30 sine of 150 degree so 30 sine of 150 degree is equal to 15 newton so these are the components of the given two forces dear students after khamne is question ko solve kiya hai by using the rectangular components sabse pehle humne in given vectors ke rectangular components ko find out kar lena hai f1x f1y or f2x or f2y iske baad hum inke x components ko add karte hue frx calculate kar sakte hain resultant ka x component aur inke y components ko add karte hue hum resultant vector के y component को जो है वो calculate कर सकते हैं so now let us add these components to get the resultant vector so f r x will be equals to f 1 x plus f 2 x while f 1 x is 17.32 while f 2 x is minus 25.98 so from this frx will be equal to 17.32 minus 25.98 is minus 8.66 newton and fry will be equals to f1y plus f2y while f1y is 10 and f2y is 15 so f r y will be equal to 25 newton so these are the two components of the resultant 
vector f of r. And now to find out the magnitude of the resultant vector and its direction, we will use the given formulas to calculate their answer. So first of all, let us find out the magnitude of the resultant force. And it will be equals to square root of fr x square plus fr y square. And by substituting the values, it will be equal to minus 8.66 square plus 25 square and the square root. So after solving this, we will get 8.66 square plus 25 square and the square root of the answer is equal to 26.46 newton. So the magnitude of the resultant force is 26.46 Newton, while its direction will be equals to, theta will be equals to tangent inverse FR of Y divided by FR of X. While FR Y is positive and it is 25 Newton, while FR X is negative and it is minus 8.66. So dear students, since the x component is negative while the y component is positive so this angle will be present in the second quadrant of the coordinate axis so from this 25 divided by 8.66 and the tangent inverse of this value will come out to be 70. Point nine degree so since this angle is present in the second quadrant so we have to subtract this angle from 180 degrees so the required angle theta will be equal to 180 degree minus 70.9 degree and 180 degree minus 70.9 is equal to 109.1 degree. So this will be the required direction of the resultant vector while its magnitude is equal to 26.46 Newton. Dear students, because to given our resultant vector here, उसमें उसका जो x component है वो negative है और y component positive है तो जो हम tension ratio से angle calculate करेंगे वो with respect to the negative x axis होगा जो कि हमारे पास इस case में 70.9 degree आया है लेकिन हमें जब भी angle को जब भी direction को define करना होता है क्योंकि हम उसको positive x axis के respect से define करते हैं इसलिए हम टोटल एंगल स्ट्रेट लाइन का जो कि 180 डिग्री है उसमें से 70.9 को माइनस करेंगे ताकि हम ये रिक्वायर्ड डायरेक्शन थीटा जो है इसको कैलकुलेट कर सकें तो इसके अकॉर्डिंग जो डायरेक्शन है वो इक्वल है 109.1 डिग्री के और जबकि मैग्नीट्यूड जो है इस रिजल्टेंट फोर्स का वो इक्वल है 26.46 this is the end of the today's lesson. Thank you so much. I hope all of you have enjoyed it. For any kind of queries, you can write your question in the comment section. Wish you good luck. See you in the next video with the new content. Till then, take care and Allah Hafiz. Dear friends, if you like my videos, kindly subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you so much.